Hey everybody and welcome back to Rogue Legacy and when we last left off we did fantastic, we did amazing with Sir Lee. Now I would like to point out at this stage that when you do, uh, depending on how well you do, you get a different uh, title. For instance he was a legendary knight, he was the first one from the tutorial. This guy here is a divine knight. Don't expect to see such an extravagant title for a long time. We have I'm pretty sure we hit our peak in episode 1, which is uh, a horrible, horrible thing to have to say. But as you know, we died. Uh, Sir Lee, our amazing champion, our divine knight, died, and now his journey passes on to his children, of which he has three. We have Lady Chun Li, we have Sir Wilson, and Lady Gwendolyn. So now we get to choose one of their children to carry on the family line. And let's see, we they each have unique traits. Now, Lady Chun-Li is a knave, um, which is kind of poop, but they can land devastating critical hits, it says. It says. But all the other stats are terrible. Now, uh, they're bald, which doesn't matter, we've got a helmet on, we can't see that, and they have OCD, which is actually a handy, handy trait to have, because whenever you smash items, you know, we always get coins before, we'll get coins and we'll also restore our mana. And they have a magic spell of a giant axe. Going down, the knight is a pretty standard class. Uh, doesn't excel in any areas. Uh, the trait is gear. Doesn't affect it whatsoever for some reason. And uh, spell is axe. Same as above. So that's a standard. And then we have a mage, Lady Gwendolyn. Um, a powerful spellcaster. Uh, who's also a dwarf. And remember before I mentioned we had dwarf holes that we could go in? If we see some, we can do it this time. Now, also, we have the spell Conflux. Now, Conflux is my favourite spell in the game from watching when Niles he played. This seems to be the most devastating and amazing ability. So, I think I'm going to take Lady Gwendolyn. But one thing I've decided that Sir Lee, because he was so amazing, whenever we have a Sir Lee from now on, we have to choose them regardless of their stats, their traits, and their class. Let's see if Lady Gwendolyn can live up to uh, the family name. Now, you may remember we also scored lots of money. We have 2,000. Now, right here is where we'll build our castle. Uh, with the money we've got. Now, the first thing only costs 50. So, sure, let's do that. We now have access to the smithy. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Is villain spelled wrong? Villain. Uh, gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory, and we have found the blueprints, haven't we? Now, from here, we have a couple of choices. We can increase our mana, have more maximum MP, or we can increase our HP. Now, we are playing a mage, but at this stage in the game, survivability is what is important. We need to get as much money as we can, so we'll buy health. And by buying health, we also unlock... Da -da -da -da, Knight upgrade. Now this will turn any knight. We won't have knights in the future. They will all be paladin paladins. This is a class upgrade. Each class gets one upgrade like this. Um, and basically you press triangle and it blocks all incoming damage at the expense of mana. If I remember rightly. So we'll buy that and we get an addition to our castle I believe. Uh, promote your knights into paladins through rigorous training. Paladins have learned how to block blows from any direction. Ah. Equipment up. Uh, basically, whenever you buy new equipment from the smithy, it has a weight to it. Uh, at the moment, we can only carry things that are a maximum of 50 weight. After that, we can't equip anything else. And this simply allows us to add 10 weight to that limit. But we're going to buy it. Because we're unlocking stuff. Boom. There's an extra section to the castle. And then we can add some wings to it. Now, across on the left, we have the architect who allows us to lock down the castle, which is something I'll explain a lot later. Uh, da -da -da -da. Boom. The architect can lock down a castle and prevent it from changing. Like the light of a castle, lock it down. Just make sure you can afford his fees. And I'm going to quickly scoot across the other side and buy the enchantress. Now, she's important because using hair, we can place any runes we found onto our armor. Now, I believe we found one or two. Uh, the Enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Her runes to in 
Find runes to increase her repertoire of body modifying talents. Her crystal ball is just for sure. Now you see we've got lots of stuff unlocked. Some of these can be done more than once. For example, uh, the paladin can't do that anymore. But the health up can be done a maximum of 75 times. But of course the cost goes up each time. Now we have some other things around. Now some of these are additional characters, which I believe is this. Oh no, that's Upgrade the Barbarian. This is Upgrade the Mage. Uh, that increases our attack and that increases our magic damage. I think if we buy these, it unlocks new characters. Let, since we're using a mage, let's get the Archmage, because it's a very nice ability that we get from this. Uh, class upgraded, transform your measly mages into Archmages. Master all of the arcane arts and change whatever spells you have on the fly. Now, if I remember rightly, you push triangle and you can cycle between three different spells. So we already have Conflux, we may have two and other awesome spells at our advantage. It also means if we get a mage in the future of a crappy spell, we could cycle through and hopefully get a better one. That is unlocked on the side. The Miner. This is a new character class. Uh, I I think you find more money when you play as the Miner. Which could be handy, but they're not that good of, you know, fighting or anything. So I'm going to skip across and we're going to upgrade the Barbarian. Uh, this will lead us to 990 gold. Basically, barbarians become barbarian kings, much like in Skyrim, you can do the Futurodar, or something very similar to that. So let's buy this. Da, 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 da. Convert your barbarians into barbarian kings. Learn the secret shouts of the bears and shout at things until they explode. Farodus. Basically, I don't think it explodes them. In fact, I don't think it even does damage. It's just a screen knockback. But it should unlock a new class and a class that is pretty freaking good. The Shinobi. I remember this. Um, unlock Shinobi, the fleetest of fighters. They are fast and they are massively damaging, if I remember rightly. But they can't ever do critical hits. If I remember rightly, that is true. That's cost us a lot of our money. The Shinobi, a super fast, super deadly warrior who wears a super headband. They can't take a lot of hits, but they can dish out the pain, believe it. That sounds about right. And now we've unlocked a critical chance up. And this spell, uh, this thing here, Haggle, is. I don't see it as being useful at all. I think it's ridiculously bad. But it does unlock a path to a new thing. If I remember rightly, it's my favourite character class from watching Niles we play, and that was the Lich. But unfortunately, we can't afford it. So we have 500 cash. Do we... Now, bear in mind, we could upgrade our health a couple of times, or mana, or attack damage, or whatever. Or we could go to the Smithy and buy some new armour. And I think that's what we might do. So let's leave the mana. Oh, look how small we are. We only do 12 damage. What the hell? Six. Why have my options changed? Yes. There we go. Oh, 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 stop this. There we go. Oh, like a freaking pogo stick. Uh, so, uh, we are not very strong, but if we use our magic, look at that. Oh. It's better when you can see them bouncing around. And also, these things here went before. These are the people we've bought. So let's have a look. Let's see what the smithy can offer us. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all of the lands. But one day, the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. So here are some of the things that we found in that castle. And it might be worth, straight off, just buying a new sword. We practically double our damage. Or we could go with uh, this, which gives us more health and mana. More health at this stage is handy. Uh, do we get any night, night stuff? is probably better. Uh, increase on magic. That's not our MP, that is our magic damage. That's actually going to be really good for us. And a cape uh, that doesn't really do much. Can I afford 375 and 370? I can't afford them both. Let's get the gauntlets. Should we? We'll be using our magic more than anything since we are a mage. Yeah, let's do the gauntlets. Night limbs. Magic goes from 31 with plus 11. Dunk. And you can't really see it, but we do. We have changed slightly. In the look of our arms. Also, remember, I can say I can spike, spike, I can spike cells. I can cycle spells by pushing Y, so we can do. Oh, 
No, no, I'm sorry. We can do this. Or if you push Y, we can fight axes. Push Y again. And we can do the daggers, the classic. But we'll stick with Conflux, because the Conflux is amazing. Now, here's the thing, you'll notice I have 135 cash. Can I actually spend this on anything? Do you have anything I can buy? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm skipping this. Um, I should read it. She's basically saying I found the runes inside the castle. 175 a piece, it would look like. That sucks. Can I go back to the manor and spend us money? Now, the reason I want to spend this money, no, I can't, is because I can't hold on to it. This guy over here is Sharon. He, he takes your money. He won't let you back in unless you have your money taken away from you. One must pay the toll. Give Sharon all of your money and enter the castle. Confirm. Get out of it. Uh, I will point out that my little brother uh, doesn't see Sharon as the bad guy. He said to me that he's... These are his exact words. He's collecting the money for childs with cancer. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's what he said. Uh, he's only seven, bless him. Uh, so, everything is back as it was, so to speak. You'll notice the castle is different. Look at this place. It is not how it used to be. Every time we come here, the layout changes. This sucks. Luckily, I'm so small. I'm so small and so weak. Should have brought the sword, shouldn't I? Now, the one thing I'm not liking is my limited range. I really can't reach very far with my sword. God, this place is deadly. This is a horrible face room, and that painting is alive. I'm going to avoid it. Fight some of those out. Hopefully they will. Ah, son of a gun. Come over here, dare you. Okay, we did that. Lost nearly half our life. Also, it's worth pointing out, if you notice, we are now at level 9. Oh, no. 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 Have it again. Yeah, level 9 because we leveled up our mana. Oh, not mana as in magic, but mana as in the place where we live. I can't reach. We're so very nearly dead. No, no, no. I'm too small. I'm too small. I'm too small and fragile. <laughs> no, please. Oh, God. Right, I've used a lot of our mana here. And mana as in MP. From now on... Mana MP style is MP. Uh, the mana outside I'll probably refer to as the castle, because this is confusing. Right, we need to start using... Come here, you scumbag. There we go. Now, my mana is low, but... Hang on. How do I do this? It's this one and then this one, I think. Uh, every kill gives us six mana. Okay. I'm happy with that. So we're restoring our mana by fighting stuff. I just wish I had some chicken. Oh! And that is as done. Now, I did promise one life per run. But that was a very short run. I told you our best run was our first run. Uh, so they were de a determined Archmage. So you're not quite the Divine Knight. So this is our final run of the day. From here on in, it will be like one life to live. But because it was so bad, and I spent a lot of time at the beginning talking over stuff, uh, explaining stuff, we'll um, have another run. Another thing to note is the PlayStation 4 controller changes color depending on what character you have. The Archmage, for example, is a blue. The Shinobi is a light green. Yes. So if two Shinobis, you have a Dwarven one. Uh, that I don't want to have. So I think we'll take Lady Annabelle. Now, Shinobi's what I mentioned, massively powerful. They are amazing for storming through and getting lots of money because they can kill the majority of things in a single blow. So their the traits are they're colorblind. Can't see colors due to monochromacy. Basically means the game is in black and white. And electrophobia, which means chickens freak you out. Which means, if I remember rightly, either the chicken that heals you doesn't drop, or... Now bear with me on this, or it hurts you. Look at this, 43 damage. When we were a mage, we were doing 12. Now we've got 180 cash. 
Let's buy a rune. Now, there are a few runes we have. This one, uh, killing enemies restores HP and MP. Sure. I'll take that. <laughs> That's probably the best one. I don't even need to look at the others. Uh, yeah, take my five coins. Let me in. Now, we only have 66 HP. And we only have 40 MP. Now, our mana, our magic, is uh, to throw a couple of saves, which I believe... Oh, oh. Just... Son of our gun. Son of our gun. Can't speak. Our magic basically... Uh, oh, some chicken. That's nice. Fires a couple of saves out um, in front of us. Okay, here we go. Good job we can siphon off HP and MP. But you'll notice how most things die on it. There's a mana push in there, so I'm going to use my magic so you can see. That's what that does. Alright, let's try going this way. I suck, I suck. Fairy chest. If you remember these last time, take no damage. Nope. Take no damage and you'll unlock the fairy chest. Well, I suck at that. Not today. Oh, we do have a chest here, though. Hopefully we get something nice out of it to make up for this horrible run so far. <laughs> hey, we've got a blueprint for the blood cape. Now, that's handy. Any of the blood equipment... Uh, allows you, when you hit enemies, you restore your own HP. You absorb the life out of them. Ooh. But at the cost of... I think it's very weak. And I think it actually drains your maximum HP. Which, no, not too good. Get out of it, get out of it, get out of it. As you can see, you kill most things in one hit. Not everything. But bear in mind at this stage, we haven't... That was stupid. We haven't bought any attack up uh, things from our castle manor. Right, this is the boss that I'm not going to fight. Why am I not fighting the boss? Because I'm going to die. We're gonna, actually going to go through this and... I want that treasure chest. Well, I'm not having that tre treasure chest. And that is going to do it for today. Yes, I know, it's not been great. I told you we peaked. We absolutely peaked with our first character. And it is not getting that good ever again. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow to see another daily run. See how far we can get. For now though, goodbye. <laughs>